Hello. In order to get familiar with Semantic Merge 2.0 and all the new features it introduced, it's good to just start the tool and go and browse the examples. Today, I'm going to go through the list of samples in C Sharp. You have the same, almost the same ones for Java, a few different ones for Visual Basic .NET and C. But I'm going to focus in, in C Sharp and I'm going to explain uh, the socket deeper as an area. It's a merge case where some code is changed and modified and, uh, you know, sorry, moved to different locations concurrently by two developers. So, uh, well, as you can see, there's a full list of examples that you can browse and it's a good idea to do it just to get familiar with the tool. Let's launch the socket deeper in semantic merge 2.0 and see what happens. Okay. Uh, forget, don't don't forget to to take a look at the semantic outline, which is the panel on the left, where you can see an explanation of the conflicts to solve. In this case, we have three conflicts left to be solved. And uh, well, the best way to understand what's going on in this merge is just to show the visual merge. Normally, you don't need this uh, understanding because you are already merging code you are familiar with, and you probably. Uh, know what happened in parallel or, or get a, an idea. Well, this is the base. This is how the code was originally. This is the source or the changes done by one contributor, normally the other contributor, and these are your changes. What happened here? You had a file with three classes inside. You had the server socket, you had the client socket, and you had the DNS. And then what happened is that one of the users, one of the developers, actually moved the listen method from the server socket class to the client socket class. So this is what we call a, a, a move, right? It was moved from to, to a different scope. You can click here and see the differences. Actually, all what the what the user did is just, um, well, add this modified on source because he not only move it, but also modify the code. Okay, in parallel, uh, the other developer, and in this case, since there are the destination are probably your changes. Uh, the other developer also moved the method, but this time to a different location. And this location is the DNS. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have a list of method on the DNS class, but you get the, the idea is just to, to show a method that is moved to a different location. You can also diff it. Well, and then there are other change, but this is, is that is a conflict that is that the connect to method was modified by one developer and deleted by the other. Well, you have to solve this. If you try to do this with a traditional text-based tool, it's quite complicated and time-consuming because you don't get a good understanding of what's going on. But semantic does part of the job for you. So let's go back to the tool and let's see the conflicts. We have two conflicts actually left to solve because one of the, the two conflicts is a double conflict. Well, first, let's try to solve this connect to, which is the first that is uh, selected. You see that the method was moved, sorry, was changed by one contributor. It, he just added this on the on the comment and it was deleted. So it detects what happened and it's telling you what you want to do. Keep the keep the deletion or actually apply the the new change. In this case, what I'm going to do is just keep destination, this destination and keep the change. It will also work if you also move the code. So it's good if someone deletes the method on the original location, you move it and modify it, you, you, you get the right conflict. And then we move to the listen method. Remember, something interesting happened to the listen method. It was originally on server socket. One developer changed it to client socket. The other developer changed it to DNS. But you can still see very easily what happened here because semantic is aligning the method even that it belongs to different classes and it's obviously on different lines check that right it's on line 22 here line 12 here line 38 here but it's aligning the conflict well from here you can just simply go and well you have a double conflict and uh, you also have to to solve to solve the the text conflict so why is double? Because you have to select the location and then solve the merge. In my case, I'll keep it on destination. I'll keep it on on DNS class. Okay, let's let's do this. And once I do that, you can already see the 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 the, the final location there on the result pane. Once you do that, you still have to 
merge it and that's the beauty of semantic because you can do the two things and it helps you doing that okay actually what the developer did is that he added a comment on top and another on the bottom well this is not real code it's just very compact to keep it very simple for the example but you get the idea and you get the whole thing right it was a very complicated uh, merge actually co code moved to divergent locations concurrently and it's, it's straightforward to solve using semantic merge